Everybody, welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jam. This is my jam. And today I have another reveal for you. Um, I, I am, this is terrible because I used to always say how I'm not influenced. And lately I feel like there's been a few things that have kind of influenced me. Just a few? Uh, <laughs> yes, just a few. Mm. Um, one of the things have been um, the vintage coach bags. And the reason being, I think, is just I kind of been watching Autumn Beckman's channel. Um, Fuchsia Floyd has shown some beauties. Dawn from Dawn Loves Couture. Um, a lot of them been showing. Oh, David from David's Closet just showed something great. They've been showing a lot of neat bags. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't already check Autumn Beckman's uh, like community page or tab to do it because she's always showing great things and or she get, lets us know little things she finds. And um, she pointed out a purse to me on Poshmark. And I know that she's been um, researching coach and everything. So when she brought it up, um, I was feeling very confident that it was a legitimate item. And I decided to um, ask the seller for um, quite a bit less than they were asking for the bag and they took my offer. So I have my first vintage bag and it is this coach. Uh, okay, now I, Willis, I wanna call it Wallace, but Willis Bay. What you talking about Willis? So here's the front, the side, the back, the side, it does appear to come with its original tag. Here's the bottom. And I was really pleased. I believe they were asking like $80. I offered 60 and they took it. Um, so let's see, let's give a little more info on this baby. Um, so yeah, little coach tag there, the brass um, loops, and you're probably wondering what are those for? Well, those are- What are those for? The handy dandy strap. And the straps have these vintage clips that I really like, as I can't do them, but you just, that's <laughs> so coordinated. You just do this. No, you're not. Okay, whatever. You just do this with them, and they hook on. And the. Why don't um, you try one? No. The, here's the strap. It is adjustable and clearly removable. Wait, and, what? And um, so, yeah, that's the, so the outside of the bag, this just. Let's see if she can do it now. Clips on here. Ooh. Look at that. First time. It's like I practiced. It clips Wouldn't on doubt it. here. And I just I just think this looks so nice. I think um, it's got a nice top handle in it, and it's got this rod here. And um, so the bag itself, the when you look at the back, there is a slip pocket in here. And the slip pocket is um, basically there is a piece of leather placed in front of the basic bag itself. And so um, it's all leather on basically the, should we call it the bag side. And then the other side is the back side of this leather. It looks like it's like a suede. It's really nice though. So I don't know if they trim it or what, but it, it's really nice. Um, so that's so that back pocket's basically the whole back side of the bag. It is, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna take this off just for ease of use and showing. Um, I have started to try to clean some of this. Um, so I did use a little bit of Brasso cleaner on these, and I don't know. I think they look like new. I have not cleaned or done anything to the strap itself yet, but I still think it looks pretty nice. I mean, to the the leather part of the strap. So um, the bag itself has some pretty good weight to it. I was going to kind of compare it to like So that like, rod in there, is that a brass rod? I, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. It looks like it from the sides, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not a pretzel rod, is it? No. no okay. I, think I know that. But trying to compare these, um, this one's definitely heavier than like this one. 
and I just, I brought up the mulberry because the mulberry also has the suede side inside the, the bag. There's no um, additional um, liners or anything like that in mulberry. But um, this one I have stuffed a little bit right now. So it has the turn lock. Mine's operational. It's working nicely. Looks like it's got one or two pop stitches right here. I'm just going to cut those off and that'll be nice. I have done one... Um, basically session or um I cleaned the bag and then I did one um leather conditioning thank you leather conditioning treatment to the front of this yet um I'm gonna ask my good friend um Ed how what to do with some of these it looks like it could use some maybe black paint or maybe I don't even want to do that and I just want to condition it some more because there's a little wear on the edges but then again I don't really want to do much to it because I I like it I like it like it is, like it's just got its own wear and use in it. So there's the front. Um, oh, and let's see, where is my tape measure? If the tape measure guy will hand me the tape measure. Thank you, tape measure man. Um, just to give you some idea of how big this is, um, we're going to measure here. Why don't you try and do it straight? That's pretty diagonal. Is it? Yeah. Like that? Move your left hand up a little more. We'll go with about 10. Because <laughs> you're all over the board there. Well, I'm all over. Okay, you're right. It is about 10. <laughs> wow, I really was all over. Okay, and then well, probably from the back. This time I'll look first. Okay, I'd say almost like 10 by 10. So it's a box. And then the... Um, it It's pretty... It looks like it's narrower to the top, but it's really not. Um, it's got some give in there. Right. I'm going to say the width, good three inches. So now, what's it look like inside, you ask? Open what? it up and see what's Rip. inside. You wrecked my, I'm really glad you asked, because now I'm going to show you what's inside. So you open up the flap. I didn't read the script, sorry. And you see the nice suede interior here. And you have another nice full pocket. Again, this is, it goes the whole length and width of the bag. And again, um, it's the suede. This is the soft leather suede's on this side. And then you got the bag itself with the suede on this side. So it's like a soft leather sandwich with the suede in the middle. It is. Then there's my bag. But then also, um, there is a zipper pocket here. Let's see that there. And then it's impossible to see in here. Um, the Creed is in here, but <laughs> there ain't no way I'm showing you that. And, um, and then the, okay, thanks for trying. Um, then the big hold, old open space here. So, um, yeah, the only thing it might be missing is I'm I'm assuming there was a some type of little something on the edge of the zipper, but I don't care. The zipper still works perfect. And um for 60 bucks, um I am super happy with this. Oh, looks like there's another stitch too that might need to be repaired right there. There and there. But again, all these are minuscule things and um I just think she's a beauty. And when you hold this, it is so substantial. It makes me wonder like, okay, coach, what you doing? Um, because my, my coach, oh, I have a little one here, right? I'm not gonna lie, I we know I went crazy over these. Mm. And the reason I did is they feel so nice. And to me, this is the first time in a long time that, to, and this is just me personally, um, I have felt like coach bags seem a little more substantial um it's just more to it not just puff i just um a little more luxurious absolutely that but uh, and like you're getting something that's going to be around for a long time i just i really think this this quilted tabby is nice but i'm not gonna lie i feel like i have something more special here and it's weird to say because um i'm not saying that i i like it more than the other ones, because I really like the, the quilted tabby slightly. But yet, I do feel like I'm holding something worth more here 
than with like the quilted tabby. I don't know if it's because the the leather just seems so substantial and nice and it's soft. I mean, this this is... Would you say it's supple? I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I would say it's supple. Um, so, yeah, um, that's my bag to show you for today. Um, do you have any vintage coach? If so, what do you have? I'd be interested in hearing that. Um, I, I was going to say I can do a, um, a show you when I'm done completely treating it, but frankly, she looks beautiful right now, so how much different is it going to look? I don't know that it would look a whole lot different. I was so glad there's no green here, anything like that, so... Whoever had this kept it well and loved it, and I'm going to do the exact same to it. I just think it's really nice. Um, yeah, let me let me know what you think. Would you be interested in buying vintage? Um, and uh, otherwise, leave any comment you want down below. I love uh, your comments. I answer everyone that I receive. Um, if you haven't found me over on Instagram yet, I'm there too at James Jam. It's J A M E underscore s underscore jam usually post a reel over there about once a week and then i also show um what's in my bag so you could see a mix of all my different slgs and what bags and slgs i put together i post over here on uh, youtube on wednesdays and saturdays with a couple of videos sometimes here they're extra speaking of extra 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 <laughs> hopefully the next video you see um will be my vlog sale oh time and um otherwise if it's not it'll be the one after this but i'm pretty sure the next one will be my vlog sale it, it will be not on a wednesday or saturday um i'm i do have some coach in there and i have um contemporary and luxury so there there's gonna be the gamut it's not a huge sale um but it's a sale <laughs> so um watch out for that i'll probably put a couple um a short out too like the day before i'm gonna do the vlog sale just to let you know that it's coming like in case it's thursday or maybe friday um but i'll let i'll let you know i'll put a short out to let you know it's coming um i think that's everything for today uh thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i'm trying really hard to get to 2000 and i'm really getting close so um, I would appreciate that. You can even hit the little bell notification. It'll notify you every time I put up a video. And until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Only one month till the Summer Olympics.